Now let's test the torque this motor offers. Here is this metal piece and go. Three transformers is all I need to run this brushless motor. For plan A, I've connected the primaries in parallel. For the secondaries, let's try delta connection. And we have three output wires representing the three phase delta. Now, let's quickly give 220 volts supply to these transformers to check if everything is fine before the final testing with the motor. Turning it on, go. Oh. Oh. I always knew that the delta connection was not going to work. I was just testing it. The actual connection is the star connection. Let's do that. For the three phase star connection, I'm choosing the red wire to create the neutral point. Finally, we have the blue ones as the three phase output wires. Turning it on and go. Nothing happened. It's fine. Which means now it is time to connect this beauty. So as you can see here, I've placed the motor on the vise, the brushless motor. And finally, it is time to connect the blue wires from the transformer to the green wires of the brushless motor. Turning it on and go. It's not working. Yeah, it has started the magnetic locking. Seems like I can also try this small black wire, which is the neutral wire and connect it to the neutral point of this transformer the red wire right now the switch is turned off and turning it on go oh. go oh. <coughs> and the motor also did not turn let's give it a go once again and quickly try to turn it okay and go oh okay <laughs> Why isn't anything working today? Oh, now I get it and no wonder it is not working. Even though I've connected the output of the transformer wires in three phase format, I still have not given it any phase shift because of which there is no rotating magnetic field and so the motor is not working. Now to create a phase shift, I'm going to use this discarded fan capacitor. I'm going to start with the star connection. This looks tight. This one. Yeah, this is loose. So we are going to have this black as common point. And these are going to be the three phase input wires, the green ones. And for the capacitor, let's choose two of the transformers and connect the green wires like this. And these two points are going to be connected to the 220 volt supply. Okay. So starting with the connections of the brushless motor with the transformer output wires, and finally connecting the input side to the 220 volts mains. Turning it on and go. Huh. Yeah, there is some vibration. <laughs> okay, now let's try and spin it after turning it on. Okay, go. Let's spin it first and then turn it on, okay? Wow! <laughs> that was cool. Let's take the torque. Ah, it is losing its torque really fast. Now, I have this 220 volts AC capacitor. So let's place this one instead of the fan capacitor. Finally, let's turn it on and see what happens, okay? Go. Uh. Oh, there's too much vibration. Let's do the same thing. Turn it as soon as I turn it on. Once again. Not working. Now let's spin it and then turn it on. Whoa. <laughs> now it is working. Add torque. As soon as I touch it, I even touch it and it stops. Now for the last try, 
the secondary remains star connected while for the primary high voltage side I'm going to connect it to delta for which the black wire of first transformer will be connected to the green wire of the next transformer and then black wire of the next transformer will be connected to the green wire of the last transformer and after that the remaining two wires. Next to give a phase shift I'm going to use this same capacitor that I used for star. So take any two of the phases and connect the capacitor as shown and these two will be connected to the 220 volt supply. Now before connecting this setup to the mains I would highly recommend you to add this 220 volts 100 watts bulb in series with the transformers so that if anything goes wrong all that is going to happen is this bulb glowing a little more brighter than before and so it is going to keep your circuit your machine and everything safe okay so guys turning it on delta connection at the primary and go you see the bulb is glowing and uh, the motor is not running and if i give it a spin because there is a lot of vibration <laughs> it is running <laughs> that is so cool and you can see that uh, uh, the brightness changes when I touch the motor so I'm going to use this uh, steel oh it stopped once again much better talk than before and you can see the brightness changing now you see this torque it is still stopping so to improve that torque we can add more bulbs in series to increase the current flow through the transformer and then more current to the motor so here i'm adding three bulbs in series to increase the current flow and one bulb is 100 watts and these two are only 60 watts so 220 watts bulbs now let's turn it on and see what happens okay and go ah. <laughs> too much current again yeah vibration all the bulbs are glowing <laughs> and the motor is running once again and in the reverse direction let's try and stop it with this metal piece <laughs> Unstoppable. you see the difference uh, I have uh, fed around twice more current almost twice more current and you can see the improvement in the torque this entire piece uh, the motor piece has begun to shine <laughs> and imagine if I add more power like more bulbs and then give more power through the transformer and to the motor uh, results could be exceptional so this method is just for experimenting like it has no practical applications yet unless we find out a way like uh, something that is going to give it self-starting plus uh, even higher torque and more rpm then we can achieve that but right now this is what i can offer you like a higher level of torque so guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and always remember that both positive and negative feedbacks are welcome on my channel so that I can understand if I'm going in the right direction or if I have to do certain changes. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Bye bye.